There we go. Oh, right above the carcass now. I was hoping we might see some vultures on that carcass. It looks like there's maybe one or two there. So yeah, it looks like there could be maybe one one or two on the ground there. And oh, that looks like a hornbill just to the left of your screen. So that's all that's left. So that's the that's all that's left of the buffalo carcass. I mean, that's three days. That is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Ah, there is, is a, I forget we're so high. There is actually the vultures on the ground. Now, it, it's funny to see the bush from this height. It doesn't look that thick, but believe me, when you're driving through it in the vehicle, it is very, it does feel very thick. But that is absolutely stunning. That spectacular view right across the Sabi Sands there. Now, the lines did actually drag the buffalo a little bit, so it was lying up uh, to the left of your screen now, and they managed to drag it to the next bush. So, yeah, you can see the, the track that we were coming in on and going around to the right. So most of the lionesses were... There was a little island, actually, that you see. The lionesses were all lying up there. Now, we were very privileged. We went out to uh, take some of the staff... Uh, last night to go have a look at the lions and the males started calling and there, there was actually a male behind the termite mound uh, that's just to the right of the screen now he was calling from behind there and uh, it was really quite epic so we were hoping maybe the boys were going to be around there the Birmingham boys but there you go you can see the two track uh, just to the left of the screen that we were using to come in hyena road just in the distance it just comes into view every so often but it's amazing how dry the butch actually looks from up here. Sure. It really is quite amazing. And you can see, actually, there's quite a few trees. You might be able to work out quite a few green trees where the river line or the, the riverbed is actually... Again, that's just cutting across the, the top portion of the screen. So hopefully you can actually work out that, that quite dark line of trees. There's still there's one or two green there because there's still a little bit of water underneath. Uh, so they're still able to stay green, but that really is quite amazing. Not too many vultures around in the trees. There's one or two. But that, oh, this is just absolutely epic. Really fantastic views. We were really hoping that... Uh, Perhaps we were going to see some vultures in flight, but uh, maybe they are still just around the carcass, maybe just feeding where we couldn't see them. But yeah, absolutely incredible, wasn't it? I mean, just to see it from that height, you just don't, you really don't realise that the scale when you're driving around. But to see it and just the expanse, I mean, it's quite low lying here. Uh, I think it's around 200 metres above sea level. Um, not too many mountains in this area, but uh, when we get to a slightly higher point, you can actually look across to, uh, I believe it's the Labumba Mountains towards Mozambique Way. Uh, so, yeah, so there's a few few places you can see that but really quite amazing and I say it's it's you don't really realize how dry the bush is until you see it like that absolutely incredible so let's have a look at these these are not as impressive I 